Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here from Easy Blades. Today we're gonna to do a beard lineup. I'm very excited about this video. This one comes out really nice. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and lighten up the beard. Now you can choose the clipper of your choice and you can choose the guard of your choice. In this particular case, we're using the one and a half against the beard because you want it to keep it darker. Now you wanna sit down and you wanna consult with your client before you even start cutting them. You wanna make sure that you ask them what they want, how light they want it. So this way you won't have to do these steps, steps twice. Now. You want to make sure that you lighten up the way you want it the first time because when you go ahead and line up the beard if you if the customer wants it lighter it's gonna mess up the lineup so from the beginning lighten it up the way you want it to be ask your customer if that is good in this particular case we're using a one and a half if they want it lower i'm gonna make it lower before i even start my lineup now if you start the lineup it's really really gonna screw you over guys because then when you lighten it it's gonna change guys so this is what we have a one and a half all the way around the beard now we're gonna go ahead and grab our outliner. That can be the outline of your choice. In this particular case, we're using that Babyliss Gold FX. This is an old school one. It's been around for a little while now. Everybody loves it. It seems to be my favorite. So the first thing we're doing is starting off on the outline under the chin and on the jaw area. I like to start the outline uh, around the bottom and the sides first because this is gonna allow you to not make the beard lopsided. If you start the top first, I don't know. I just feel like it comes out lopsided. So here we go on the top no detail done too much with the outliner all the details are going to come with the straight razor guys i don't like to do detailing with the outliner because it just it's a waste of time the, uh, the straight razor really is going to make it sharp and crisp to where you want it to be so again just cleaning up all that hair that i want that i don't want there and i'm starting my shape you know i'm just kind of forming the beard and seeing where i want it this is not the end all be all right here once you throw that straight razor on there this is really going to make it crisp without enhancements guys so i'm going to show you guys how to make a beard crisp without enhancements guys you don't need enhancements all the time so we're starting at the bottom of, again starting at the bottom again now the jawline it should be where you want it to be from the beginning again because if you start to shave if you start with the straight razor you're gonna have to go over it again it's a pretty much a waste of a time waste of time and you can be moving on to the next client and stuff like that so starting out on the bottom see where they want it if they want it higher if they want it lower some people like it right where the chin is and you know some people like it lower some people might want it all the way down at the bottom of the neck so it all depends on the client where they want it okay same thing on this side just outlining the jaw and cleaning off the ears guys you can see me taking an outline and putting it on the ears um, because people like when they're just clean guys if you clean them up from the beginning you don't have to worry now you can see i went closer on this shot because i wanted to show you guys if you can if you can notice what i'm doing when i'm when i'm on the curve i'm using only the corner of the outliner that's the moving part of the blade a lot of people can't get this part the c cup because they're not using the corner of the blade they're using the whole machine and they just don't know you have to bend the machine slightly like you saw and just use the corner you can see that the top of the machine is away from the head you just want to use that corner that's really going to get it so now for the mustache area again see where they want their mustache we get a lot of insults online when somebody's mustache is too thin nine times out of ten guys or well, ten times out of ten if somebody if, if i'm doing a mustache on somebody and it's thin it's because they ask me to make the mustache thin again getting in the nose hitting the nose hairs you want to make sure that you're going the extra mile for your clients because they came to a barber shop to a grooming parlor they came to you because you're the professional and you want to be professional you want them to go home and say wow that guy really you know put the machine on my nose and my ears he made me clean you know like people notice that they don't have machines at home to clean their nose people don't even know how to do that they're not they, it's normal to you but it's not to them okay again make sure that you're lining up that mustache where they want it they want it thin make it thin or you can give them a, you know give them when during a the consultation you can say hey i don't know if that mustache looks right on you if you want to but if somebody wants something because they know how they're looking you know give them what they want you know I mean, you're supposed to tell them what you think as well, your professional opinion. At the same time, make sure that you're giving them what they want. Okay, same thing over here. Now you can see the beard is not detailed at all, guys. Again, that was just a shaping and sculpting phase. Now we're gonna go to the sharpening phase, sharpening phase uh, with using a straight razor. Um, and again, me cleaning the nose off, me just making sure that everything's clean around there. Make sure I put everything where I want it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some Easy Blaze Shave Gel. Now this shave gel is translucent and you can see exactly what's going on. Now I'm gonna start off with the neck area. You can see that the shave gel is clear. We're gonna grab a straight razor and we're gonna go ahead and shave the neck, guys. Now I have the line exactly where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Easy Blade Straight Razor and Easy Blade Double Edge Razor um, and load that thing up. 
then we're gonna get the bottom of the neck. Now, when you get the bottom of the neck, you can use the backhand stroke or you can go up like I'm doing right here. I've always loved this way. This is the way I've learned. Um, the backhand stroke, uh, so I'm kind of comfortable with it. It's just I'm not something that I'm with. And there's no rules to shaving, guys. Um, you can do whatever you want. I mean, if you are taking a test, like when I took my state board test, you have to do the backhand stroke. I've always loved this way. Uh, to some people it would be uncomfortable but make sure that neck is clean and do it the way you want now again use some shave gel right here and we're going to start sculpting that beard now my first pass when i'm using the straight razor is going to be i want to call the dirty pass right because there's a lot of hair on his face look there's so much hair on the top of his face with the straight razor it's not a lot of hair but you can see it's kind of the dirty pass when i pull the skin make sure i'm stretching that skin at 30 and you can see there's a dark line right there I call this the dirty pass because there's a lot of hair, right? So we got to wipe that hair off first. And then we got to go ahead and do it, you know, with that hair removed. Because you want to make sure that you get it sharp. So now with that hair removed, we went ahead on our second pass or third pass, right? And you can see there's no more hair there. And the line is nice and sharp and crisp, guys. And this is without enhancements, guys. This is a real beard. He's going to go home. He's not going to be able to wipe that off. That beard is going to stay like that. And that's what we got on this side. Same thing over here. We're going to start with our dirty pass. You can see that the hair is still there because we got a bunch of hair still on the face. When you shave, uh, the machine the machine is not enough. So there's still going to be hair left. You know, there's going to be little, little hair hairs left on the face that we couldn't get with the machine. So that's what you're seeing right here. It's basically like a darker line. Um, and that's what we got. And then we're going to go ahead and we wipe that off. And we're going to go ahead and do our second pass or third pass just to make the beard clean. This is where the detail comes in. And that's exactly what we did on each side, guys. We're pulling that skin taut, angling the blade, guys. Don't be scared to angle that blade uh, at a 30. We're going to do the mustache as well, making sure that he is nice and clean. And this is what we got, guys. Uh, again, Jay here from Easy Blade. I need you guys to comment below, like the video, let us know what you want to see, let us know what you think. Like the video, Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Comment below, let us know what you want to see. Thanks a lot.